Hey, this is Chris. We're doing a Dogfish Head 90 boil today. Um, this is actually the second time that I've brewed this batch. The first time I did it, uh, we just tapped it on the kegerator actually. But the first time I did it, I didn't have perfect uh, fermentation control. So I'd like to do it again now that I have a fermentation chamber and see how I can perfect this beer. Um, with me today we have Nick Pappas. Yeah. Fellow Devil Dog. He's a wine brewer, but uh, or a wine maker. In the making. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got on the camera we have Adam Quinn. Show yourself. <laughs> so this is not going to be an instructional video, just kind of a, a, a video to show my setup and us having a good time brewing some beer. We'll talk to you later. Cheers. Hey. hey. <laughs> so right now we've added the uh, the, the strike water, the water uh, for the mash and the grains. Uh, we're stirring it up. We came in a little high, so we're stirring it up, letting it cool off a little bit. We're trying to hit our target temperature of 148, 149. Uh, I'll be happy with 150. What do you think, Nick? It smells really good. That's what I think. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> Let that alcohol get in there. Look at that. We've had a few dough balls, but uh, we've pretty much gotten rid of all of those there you can see. For this recipe, we've used uh, 16 pounds of two row and uh, one pound of amber malt. Um, and then we'll get to the hopping schedule a little bit later. And the hopping schedule is actually what really makes this beer the Dogfish Head 90. We'll check in later. Hey, this is Adam from Boston. Just, uh, <laughs> we're mixing in our hops. We've got the three of Amarillo, one a Warrior, and the other one a Simcoe. We're just uh, blending it in here. Getting ready. We're going to load up these 30, 30 little cups so we can drop it in every three minutes over a 90 minute process. We back shortly. So what we're doing here is putting the finishing touches on the fermentation chamber. This is Charlena. Anybody who's ever seen La Bamba will get a kick out of Charlena. What we did is gutted an old higher refrigerator. And we uh, gutted it, took the cooling element, we put it there. We've got a uh, computer fan so we can circulate the air wired in and then for the heating element we have a reptile cord that we've ran all around uh, the area of the fermentation chamber. And then we have a love dual stage controller uh, able to control the heating and the cooling elements so we can uh, program a desired temperature and keep it within range. We've insulated it with two inch thick uh, foam board, uh, silicone and various other ways to secure it. What we're doing now is we're cutting a piece so we can go ahead and latch, latch that. We put some weather, put some weather stripping on the door so we can get a tight as seal as we can. And then on the upper part, I went ahead and just made some area for uh, storage. I uh, got various brewing stuff. Right now, we're still waiting on the mash to finish. We got the sparge water heating up on the kegel. We're going to heat that up to about 168, 170 or so. We're going to run it through our fly sparge system. The hops are ready to go. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're finishing up our fly sparge. This is the first time we've ever fly sparge at this brewery. And, uh, you know, it takes some getting used to uh, as far as making your, 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 your the, the amount that's coming out of your fly sparge and the amount that's going into your boil kettle. But we think we've perfected it, and uh, it's been almost an hour now. We're just about to our, our target uh, gallonage. We're going to go for seven and a half to eight gallons. Um, the water level in the, in the mash tun is starting to go down. The grain bed is starting to compact a little more. Uh, we should be there within minutes. Minutes. <laughs> Minutos. It is filling up. Steaming, filling up, smelling delicious. Some liquid goodness. Very right good. Uh, uh, so, all right, so we got the uh, wort boiling. We got about seven and a half gallons going down. We boiled down a little bit from eight gallons. And we're about ready to add uh, number one of our 30 hop additions. Mmm, goodness. Yummy. So, we're going to put it here in our hot bag that we've made out of a, a, a paint strainer, five gallon paint strainer. And. La 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 la. There we go. As you can see, nice, good, uh, vigorous boil going. We'll check back in with you periodically through the hop additions. And, uh. Wow, 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 wow.
So, uh, long day, but we bowled our Dogfish 90. We've added uh, 30 additions of hops. We're now running it through our Blickman or our Blingman hop chiller. It's a plate chiller. The Cadillac of all chillers. This is the goddamn BMW. And if you can see, we're going from boiling temperatures, which is in Albuquerque, roughly 205. And we're coming out right now. We have our temperature probe set in the... Uh, the water it is now 68, 69 degrees. So we're going to be able to pitch this baby pretty soon. That's where the that's where the temperature probe is that's right it. there. That's it. And that is where the warmer stuff is. That's that's still steaming. Look at that. And we could see how much uh, how how much liquid we got here with the uh, with the cool right about there. About four gallons. And there we are. Temperature wise, we're kicking at about 200. As you can see, if I can hold it straight. Yeah. We got the dogfish into the uh, fermentation chamber. We got the blowout tube ready to go. We're gonna put the uh, just a bucket of you know star sand and water for the blowout tube to go into. And that's it. We're gonna shut the old doors on Charlene. And it's already set to fermentate uh, approximately lower 60s. I went ahead and put a temperature at 63 with a degree and a half on each side. So if it reaches 64 and a half or uh, 61 and a half, it's going to kick on. Although we've had the door open for a little bit, so that's why it's reading 59.4. But quickly, it's going to be elevating here in temperature. We'll check back in in about two weeks, and we'll go ahead and. Uh, Dry hop this baby. Cheers. So the uh, next morning, we already got activity in the fermenter. The yeasties are dancing. We're getting a good blow off there. Uh, the krausen is rising. Um, we'll check back in here in a little bit. Yummy.